2023 Jeep Wagoneer starting at $89,995. Before the Grand Wagoneer arrived, Jeep had never built an SUV so big and luxurious. Within its enormous shell are three rows and seating for up to eight, not to mention attractive materials and upscale features throughout. The long wheelbase Grand Wagoneer L has more storage space behind all those seats, too. Unfortunately, the longer version also will be more difficult to maneuver than its already cumbersome counterpart. Regardless of length, the largest Jeep suffers from terrible fuel economy, with a combined EPA rating of just 16 miles per gallon. That estimate isn't for a big displacement V8, either, but a new twin-turbo six-cylinder with 510 horsepower. At least that engine should get the 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer and its precious cargo where it needs to go on time and in exceptional comfort. For those not looking to spend six figures, the Jeep Wagoneer is a less expensive, albeit less fancy, alternative. What's new for 2023? For 2023, the Grand Wagoneer L joins the lineup. Its wheelbase is 7 inches longer than the standard Wagoneer, and it's a foot longer overall. These extensions contribute to considerably more cargo space behind all three rows of seats. Under the hood, the long wheelbase model has Stellantis' new Hurricane engine, which is a twin-turbo 3.0-liter inline-six that makes 510 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. While it is standard on the stretched Grand Wagoneer L, a 471 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 is still available on the base trim of the regular Grand Wagoneer. We think the Series 2 trim level looks to be the best value. It comes standard with 22 inch wheels, a two tone roof, a 10.3 inch touchscreen for the front passenger, nicer leather trimmed upholstery, a rear seat monitoring system, and additional driver assists such as night vision and a semi autonomous drive mode engine, transmission, and performance. With the introduction of the new long wheelbase Grand Wagoneer L comes a new engine. Dubbed the Hurricane, the 510 horsepower twin turbo 3.0 liter inline six pairs with an eight speed automatic transmission and all wheel drive. While this engine comes standard on the stretched Grand Wagoneer L, the standard wheelbase model can still be had with the 471 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 powertrain but only on the base model. The new i6 is the engine to get anyway, as it beat the older V8 in our acceleration testing, propelling the Grand Wagoneer L to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds. As with its domestic rivals, the Grand Wagoneer utilizes body-on-frame underpinnings, in this case, derived from the Ram 1500 pickup truck. However, the Jeep features an independent rear suspension rather than the truck's solid rear axle, which gives the SUV a smoother ride and better handling than the Ram. Along with several four-wheel drive systems, the Grand Wagoneer offers an adaptive air suspension that can raise its ride height up to 3.6 inches or lower it by a half inch. It also boasts 10 inches of ground clearance, up to 2 feet of water fording capability, and a max tow rating of 9,860 pounds. After driving the Grand Wagoneer, we appreciated its relaxed and refined ride on the highway, however, its pickup truck structure contributes to a jiggly ride when the pavement is less smooth. Likewise, the massive SUV isn't very agile in small spaces and suffers from notable body roll on curvy roads that are exacerbated by its light and vague steering feel. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo with standard three-row seating and space for either seven or eight passengers, the Grand Wagoneer provides large families an opportunity to live the Jeep lifestyle, which hasn't been possible since the old and unloved Commander was around. A pair of second-row captain's chairs are standard, but a bench seat is available for maximum passenger capacity. As the luxury version of the regular Wagoneer, its cabin is loaded with elegant environs, such as genuine wood accents, and high-tech features, such as a 12.3-inch fully digital gauge cluster. The interior also boasts Easter eggs inspired by the original Grand Wagoneer, including an old-school inspired two-spoke steering wheel and an EST. 1963 inscription that appears on the edge of the dashboard when you open the door. Along with customizable ambient interior lighting, this grandest of Wagoneers offers a head-up display, a camera-fed rear-view mirror, and a rear seat monitoring system that displays a video feed onto the central touchscreen. On the standard wheelbase model, the cargo area behind the third row measures 27 cubic feet, and stowing it provides 71 cubes behind the second row. On the long wheelbase model, there are 44 cubic feet behind the third row and 89 cubes with the second row of seats folded flat. 